we'd been working on the film for about uh, four or five years before I did the album The Chemical Wedding. This year's lecture will be given by Dr. Haddock. We, when we first started writing this, uh, having an idea about doing a film about Alistair Crowley, or involving Alistair Crowley, uh, th the working title for the script was uh, The Number of the Beast. And we, we changed that because a friend of Julian, the, the, the director, a friend of Julian's, had written a novel called The Chemical Wedding. He said, look, I think this is a great title for the movie. It's not as obvious as The Number of the Beast, but the chemical part is actually referring to the alchemy, the alchemical wedding. Crowley. Alistair Crowley. Oh. Good afternoon, ladies. For me, his failures were actually almost as interesting, uh, if not more so. The flaw in his personality, you know, what was... You know what made um, what made Crowley not one of the great religious leaders of the 20th century. What made him uh, the wickedest man in the world? He was an, a narcissist, a supreme narcissist. You know, and he never knew when to shut up. As the beats. Crowley said exactly the same. He said, "You don't have to go and live in a Buddhist temple." to learn the skills of meditation. Um, in fact, if you take drugs, you get the same effect. He, he turned magic from being something that you sat around and talked about as a philosophical concept. He said, no, 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 this is something which is scientific. We can, we can actually make things happen, and this is how you do it. Um, so in that sense, he was unique. He, he was to magic what Bruce Lee was to the martial arts, because he's a man in a sense, years ahead of his time. So that's why Crowley is so fascinating. Oh. Oh. Doing a film about somebody who thinks they're Alistair Crowley means that you can pick the whole of his life and just pick ideas mm -hmm. wherever you like to introduce in the film. Witchcraft is a, a specific religion. It's an organized system of, of religious belief. That's why we don't use the, the term uh, witchcraft. Uh, um, Crowley wasn't a witch. Ah! Occult only means hidden. It doesn't mean dark. If you say hidden teachings, sometimes they're hidden because people need to discover them and seek them out before they become real. That's... Um, would be something that would be quite familiar to every sportsman. You can read about how to be a great tennis champion, a magician or a witch, but the secret hidden knowledge is not reading about it. It's doing it and experiencing it. Greatest occult event of history. So when you are a tennis champion, when you have understood, you know, the meaning of combat against another guy, you know, and you feel it as part of your soul, and your being, you are different. You have secret knowledge. You have hidden knowledge. And the occult knowledge is the same. Guys would spend years studying it, practicing meditation and fasting and all this stuff in private. And they'd, they'd write it down. Um, and this would be secret knowledge. But the knowledge actually was not secret, but it was hidden because it was in themselves. Will you walk 